what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Surprise, surprise, surprise. Members of law enforcement accidentally recorded themselves trying to frame a U.S. citizen. How does something like that happen and there is no outrage? What's going on, America? I thought this was the land of the free, the home of the brave, and the not too long ago slave. I thought this was a place of fair justice. I thought it was a place of righteous cops. I thought this was the place to come to, to feel safe. I thought the streets would be safe if we could get the thugs off the streets and replace them with members of law enforcement. I thought when you see a cop car, you're supposed to be relieved. Connecticut State Trooper First Class John Barone Sergeant John Jacoby and Master Sergeant Patrick Tarnio are recorded discussing how to justify taking in Michael Picard, an activist who filmed them detaining him. According to a 2017 story in the Hartford Current, they were exonerated by an internal investigation despite planning to falsify witness reports of the encounter. The ACLU filed a lawsuit in 2016, which remains active to this day. A state police internal affairs investigator concluded that there was absolutely no evidence whatsoever to support an activist claim that the three troopers conspired to concoct charges against him during a contentious interaction at a DUI checkpoint in 2015. Michael Picard, who supports the open carrying of a firearm and opposes random DUI checkpoints, was charged with two infractions while protesting at an I-84 ramp in West Hartford. The police cannot be trusted. That's what a lot of people say. What say you? I want to hear from the people that trust the police because I know there's a number of people out there who feel like it's hopeless. You can't get through a day without seeing several reports of several policemen engaged in misconduct. Where does it stop? Where is the checkpoint for officers who are breaking the law? That's what they need to have, a checkpoint for that. Just randomly pulling over officers. Let's check you out. In fact, let's do a drug test. Let's check you for alcohol because a lot of them do drive drunk. It's sad, man. It's sad that you got officers out here who are committing just as many crimes as regular people out there. You can't really tell the difference. So this is why people don't trust cops. It's not just a few bad apples, man. It's a whole tree of them. It's bad. Probably the officers fear for their lives, right? It doesn't seem to be a lot of policing going on. Just a bunch of mercenary reprobates thugging it out. Just doing whatever the hell they want to do. A bunch of lying, scheming, undermining, dirty, low-down, people that's hiding behind a uniform, badge, and a title. That's it. If you think I'm lying, prove me wrong. I can't wait because I want to feel safe too. I mean, I want to be able to trust the police because it's dangerous out there. No more talk. What the mate is talking about?